Hey folks, Andy here and welcome back to another This Month at Mantic, your monthly roundup to keep your finger on the pulse. Well, February was a little bit busy, wasn't it? But we're smashing down the door to March, kick that puppy open, and coming out swinging. First off, I want to take an opportunity to say a massive thank you to everyone who helped us make the Epic Warpath Kickstarter a roaring success. With your support, we managed to unlock four extra factions, taking the total up to eight, so when this game delivers and launches fully, we're all going to get to see lots of variety on the tabletop. We'll be continuing to work away on making it the best it can be, but rest assured, we'll keep you all up to speed on the progress until it's in your hands. March started with a bit of a bang, with us dropping our teaser trailer and announcing the name of our new game, Halo Flashpoint. And it's fair to say, a few folks seem to be interested in it. It will be launching directly to retail in the fall, or autumn if you prefer, and we have so much more to show you. Later this month, the Halo Flashpoint website will go live, plus we'll be showing you in much more detail what you'll get in the box, how the game plays, and why this is going to be the game you won't want to miss. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you're first to know when we drop some more Halo Flashpoint love. Also on Halo Flashpoint news, if you're visiting Adepticon this March, why not swing by our stand and come and see us and we'll be giving the world first playable demos of Halo Flashpoint so that you can see for yourself why we're so excited for this game. If you're not visiting Adepticon this year, then fear not, as we'll also be giving folks at Salute in the UK a chance to demo the game in April. If that doesn't show you how confident we are in this game, then make sure to talk to your friendly local gaming store about it, as there's opportunities for them to get their hands on a store demo copy too, so everyone can get to see why this game is going to be huge. After all of that sci-fi news, we're about to make a huge splash for our Kings of War fans, when our latest Trident Realms releases go up for pre-order later this month. Our Watery Warriors are getting some new models, as well as some of the older ones getting a beautiful update. You can pre-order a Trident Realms ambush set, containing 20 of the updated River Guard infantry, 3 of the brand new plastic dam busters, plus the ambush rulebook, the Trident Realms information sheet, and all of the bases that you'll need to get these to the battlefield. You could upgrade and go for an army box, which contains 20 River Guard, 20 Nyads, a Siren, plus the Dam Buster Warden, along with the bases that you'll need and collecting Trident Realms booklet. Or if you've already made your mind up that you're going deep with this army, then the Mega Army is amazing value and gives you 40 River Guard infantry, 6 Dam Busters, 20 Nyads, a Nooker, a Depth Horror Eternal, plus all of the bases and the collecting booklet. Along with these sets, we've released both the River Guard and the Dam Busters as standalone regiment boxes, a Dam Buster Arbalist, a Dam Buster Pond Warden, a Tidal Swarm Regiment, and a Coral Giant. There's so much exciting stuff for Kings of War this month, we can't wait to see them hitting people's painting desks and what you all do with them. This month's vault seems to be feeling a little off colour, as it's very much plague infested and undead. And not only that, but for the first time, everything is full models where you don't need anything else to make use of these files right away. Starting off with our Armada fans, we have the Salamander XL ship, the Drake, sailing into the vault, along with the Salamander Flyers, the Scorchwings. We've also added a whole host of sea monsters for your games of Armada in the Enraged Narwhal, the Hydra, the Merfolk, and the Sea Serpent. For our sci fi fans, there's Plague Leapers and Plague Murderbirds, plus the Plague Terraton, a personal favourite of mine. Lastly, for our fantasy fans, we've added a Halfling Vampire, Orc Zombies, an Undead Goblite, and some Undead Zombie Trolls too. Along with that, for those of you who want some extra characters for your RPGs, or maybe you want to add some variety to your Kings of War armies, we've added in the Dungeon Dead from our Dungeon Adventures range. So much stuff this month that if you're not already signed up to the vault, then this month might be a good time to dive in. Well, that's it for this month. How about... And don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like, and I'll see you all next month.